Today we are going to study traveling salesperson problem. In short, it is termed as TSP. For example, this is a salesman and he wants to travel n number of cities. He wants to travel, let's say for example, here it starts from city A. He wants to visit city B, city C and city D. So now, which route should he follow so that the distance travel is minimized? In this example, there are five number of cities. Salesman wants to travel all the cities. He can follow any of this route, either a figure one or a figure two, or he can follow any other route, any other route of his own choice. So we can say that for n number of cities, we can have n minus one factorial feasible solution. But out of this n minus one factorial feasible solution. We should select one optimum solution. Now, if salesman wants to travel from city A to city B, that is, is only engaged with two cities. So there will be only two po one possible route and there won't be any other option. If salesman is traveling three cities, that is from city A, B, C, he would be having options of two routes. Similarly, for four cities, he would be having three possible routes. So, in general, we can say that to visit n number of cities, there are n minus one possible routes. Objective of TSP is to select the sequence of cities in such a way that the, the distance and the, and the time required for traveling will be minimized. Our main objective of TSP is here in these two lines and these are very important and you need to remember it very well. Visit each city exactly once and end where you have start. If, he, if salesman is traveling from city A, he should visit all the cities that is city B, city C, city D and come back to city A. And he should not visit same city twice. TSP are usually implemented by branch and bound algorithm. And the reason behind this, it provides exact solution to the problem. We have other algorithms like heuristic algorithm. But problem with that is it is fast but it doesn't provide exact solution to the problem. This is the problem of TSP. We will see how to solve the problem of TSP. Traveling salesperson problem is very important with perspective of examinations and it usually comes for 10 marks. In question, graph would be given and from that graph we are going to create matrix or sometimes they might give us graph directly. In few of the books, in the matrix you will find hyphen or dash. You can replace those hyphen or dash with this infinities. The very first step if graph would be given is to create a matrix. Creating matrix is not that tedious, it is a very simple concept. What you have to do is, we have to write the cost of the path of the matrix of all the routes. For example, let us take, we, do we have any route from city 1 to city 1? And the answer is no. So here we will write it as infinity. Do we have path from 1 to 10? Yes. What is its cost? 10. So we will write here it as 10. Do we have path from 1 to 3? Yes. The cost is 15. Do we have path from 1 to 4? Yes. Cost is 20. Do we have path from 2 to 2? No. So we will write here as infinity. Do we have path from 3 to 3? No, so we will write it here as infinity. Do we have path from 4 to 4? No, so we will write here it as infinity. This is a directed graph and we need to see the directions very well. The matrix will be generally of square, symmetric or triangular inequality. After creating a matrix, a very next step is to find out the row minimized matrix. 
To find out the row minimized matrix, we will consider one row. From that, we will consider its minimized element and subtract it from the rest of the element. In row 1, our minimized element is 10. We will subtract it from the rest of the elements of row 1. That is infinity minus 10 is infinity. 10 minus 10 is 0. 15 minus 10 is 5. 20 minus 10 is 10. In second row, our minimized element is 5 because infinity is greater than 5, 9 is greater than 5, and 10 is greater than 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0, infinity minus 5 is infinity, 9 minus 5 is 4, 10 minus 5 is 5. Similarly, we'll fill out our whole matrix. Once our step 2 is done, our next step is column minimization. For doing column minimization, we will see the matrix of row minimization remember this for creating column minimized matrix we will see the matrix of row minimized matrix and not the our previous matrix of step one in column minimization we will consider our minimized element of a column and subtract it from the rest of the elements in the column in column one zero is present 0 if it is if 0 is present then it is already in reduced form and we can't do anything because 0 won't create any difference in column 2 0 is present in column 1 our minimized element is 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 infinity minus 1 is infinity and 1 minus 1 is 0 in column fourth, our minimized element is 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. 6 minus 5 is 1. Infinity minus 5 is infinity. After creating column minimized matrix, we will find out the total reduced cost. To find out the total reduced cost, we will add up all the elements which we have minimized it that is which we have subtracted it for example in row minimization we have subtracted subtracted 10 5 6 and 8 in column minimization we will have subtracted 5 and 1 we will do addition of all these numbers to get our total reduced cost that is 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 6 21 21 plus 8 29 so this was our row reduction cost now in column reduction cost we have minimized two elements 1 and 5 so 1 plus 5 is 6 so we get the answer 35 because 29 plus 6 is 35 our next step is dynamic reduction now we have got the cost of node 1 that is 35 now salesman have three options from city 1 he can travel to city 2 city 3 or city 4 which one he should select we will find out this by calculating the cost of each city and the process of finding out the cost of each city is similar which we have seen before now this was our previous full reduced matrix correct now salesman is traveling from 1 to 2 that is a to b so we what we have to do is we have to make few changes in our previous full reduced matrix to find out the cost of node 2 we have to uh, first we will look out our value what is the value of m a comma b in first position it would be always row and in second position it would be always column so we will check out the what's the value of eighth row and beth column so our value is eighth row and beth column that is zero correct now we will set the opposite of a comma b that is b comma a equals to infinity so 
8th row and 8th column. We will set it here as infinity. After this, our next step is, we, see, we are going from A to B, right? So, we will set all the values of A, of 8th row as infinity, like this. And all the values of column B as infinity because we are traveling from A to B. After this, we have to perform row minimization and column minimization. In row 1, it is already in reduced form. In row 2, 0 is present, so it is in reduced form. In row 3, we can't reduce because 0 is present. In row 4, 0 is present. Now let us do, so our cost of row reduction will be 0. Let us do column minimization. In column 1, 0 is present. We can't minimize it. In column 2, all are infinity. In column 3, 0 is present. In column 4, also 0 is present. Now the formula for calculating the cost of node 2 is cost 1 plus reduction plus m a comma b what is the value of m a comma b we already know it is zero so here we will write it as zero now cost one cost one means optimum cost that is cost of node one which is equals to 35 now reduction cost our column and min and row minimized both were zero so we'll write it here as zero so 35 plus zero plus zero becomes 35 now we know the cost of node 2 that is 35 similarly in this way we are gonna find the cost of node 3 and 4 let us see how to find the cost of node 3 the same process how do we find the way or cost of node 2 here we are gonna apply the same now we are going from 1 to 3 that is A to C. So the very first step is to uh, see the value of M A comma C which is equals to 4. After that we will do opposite, we will set the opposite that is A comma C is opposite that is C comma A equals to infinity. Now salesman is traveling from A to C so we will set row A whole row A equals to infinity and column C equals to infinity. After this what we have to do is row minimization and column minimization. Let us perform row minimization in row 1 all are infinity in row 2 0 is present in row 1 we have got minimized element that is 1. So we are gonna subtract it from that particular low, row in row fourth our, we have zero correct so our row minimized value is one now let us do column minimization in column one zero is present in column two zero is present in column three all are infinity in column four zero is present so uh, column minimization equals to zero and row minimization equals to one so cost of 3 equals to the same formula cost of 1 that is optimum cost plus reduction plus value of m a comma b that is 35 because our cost of node 1 is 35 reduction 1 m a comma b equals to 4 from our previous matrix. So it becomes 35 plus 1 plus 4 equals to 40. In this way, in similar way, we will find out node 4. I hope you will now understand how to find the value of node 4. If you have any doubts, you can write it in comment box and I will surely solve your doubts. Now, we have find out the node of our cost of node 2 that was 35, cost of node 3 that was 40 and cost of node 4 that is 40. The least cost is 35. So node 2 is our optimum cost and we will set it as E node. That is 
now note 2 will become parent of children 3 and 4 that is salesperson will travel from 1 to 2 and then after this he can either go to node 3 or node 4 now again we have to find both the cost that is of node 3 and node 4 and we will check out which one is minimum and whoever's cost will be minimum we will select that route now we have now our parent is node 2 so we will use the matrix of node 2 in same way the way we did before we will find out the cost of node 3 that is here uh, salesman is traveling from 2 to 3 that is he will follow first we will find out our value that is m2 comma 3 equals to 3 then we will set opposite of 3 comma 2 equals to infinity salesman is traveling from 2 to 3 so we will set our second row and third column our second row and third column as infinity we will perform row minimization and column minimization here nothing will be reduced so our row minimization and column minimization will be zero uh, and plus our value of m2 com 2 comma 3 is 3 so we'll write it here as plus 3 and our optimum cost is 35 so 35 plus 3 is 38 similarly we'll find out the cost of node 4 and what we have got answer is 35 so node 3 is 38 node 4 is 35 so definitely we will follow the path such as from 1 to 2 2 to 4 and 4 to 3 we will not stop over here in exam we also need to again find out the cost of node 3 which we have got is 35 in same way in the similar process it's a very easy and very important concept focus well and you will score good definitely so if you like my video and if you understand it please do like share and comment